applied computing or computer science graduates career opportunities that's pretty much what i'm going to be explaining today um potential opportunities what my situation was what jobs i've gotten did i get any internships or not so if you're kind of looking for something like that stay tuned Hey, my name is Myra Serbatis. I'm a recent applied computing graduate from a university in Scotland. I particularly chose not to study computer science because I felt like for me personally, applied computing always sounded like more, more of a useful thing. I always wanted to do more than just, you know, programming, algorithms, mathematics, all sorts of stuff like that that you could associate with computer science or computing science, as it's called in certain other universities. Although what I've learned, and I've made a video about this, the difference between computer science and applied computing is pretty small, at least so far from what I've gathered from my personal experience in university. The only difference was, so TLDR, again, for this video, you can watch that. That's applied computing versus computing science. It's quite a decent video. It explains a bit more in depth, but I didn't have to take mathematics lectures for the first two years of the studies where my pals my other course mates uh the ones who kind of were studying computer science they had to do that um further along um i didn't necessarily have to take uh, more theoretical modules like algorithms um or other kind of again more technical more theoretical modules as a substitution to that there were some other like human computer interaction or some other kind of ux modules i guess so let's get into it. What was my career kind of like to this point, even though I've graduated like a year ago. So it's not like I'm going to have, you know, the biggest, greatest career kind of path already behind me to share. But I thought it would be quite a nice, uh, quite a nice thing to say here and tell you guys what kind of my personal experience was as a recent applied computing graduate. So I was graduating around COVID era. I was looking for internships and that was kind of a thing. Like there was this company around in, in my area, NCR. And NCR was looking for interns. They're heavily hiring in this region. They are a finance company that are making ATMs. It's called National Cash Register. The company has been uh, around for ages pretty much. Them, they're pivoting into the digital um, cloud kind of space so they were looking to expand their cloud business of you know supporting uh serving uh customers with kind of more modern approach of operating their atms machines etc so i was working on this program called itm which is an interactive teller machine rather than an atm which is uh automated teller machine and and that was my that was my first job um because i was looking for an internship and they had some but although there were some scheduling issues with the meetings and the interviews during that summer when I was going to get an internship. So therefore, uh, in third year, I didn't manage to get an internship because there was some mistakes and whatever happened. I just didn't get the internship. So after that, um, they kind of knew my name already. They had my CV. And when I applied again, they kind of like, I'm not necessarily entirely sure if it was a short list or whatever, but they were looking for talent. And from what I understand, they liked my CV again. Um, I applied, I got an interview, um, so I've gotten a, a job there. Somehow I was firstly hired as a QA, even though I applied for a developer role and I interviewed for a developer role, I was hired as a QA and I didn't know what that pretty much meant. Um, so <laughs> during my onboarding sessions, kind of, um, there was this very experienced quality assurance engineer um, I was asking him like, what is QA? And he was hesitant to explain what that meant because he was thinking if, wait, if you don't know what that means, maybe you are not really hired for the right position. So then because there were more positions open, obviously the ones that I applied for, the developer roles, I got pushed bumped to that developer role and pretty much nothing changed except that you know my title and now instead of the team thinking that you know i'm gonna like uh, do qa for them i was just programming so that was my first job i was a graduate software engineer i don't even think it was graduate it was just that you know after i graduated usually the position is kind of called graduate right so i was i was doing a junior software engineer role um for like 10 11 months and then a nicer opportunity came my way um i got referred to unity it's a game engine, a game backend services company. They do all sorts of, and I mean, most of the people know what Unity is. I pretty much learned how to program using Unity back years ago, 
when I just first learned that Unity Game Engine is free, I started programming and making little games and all sorts of stupid little experiences of, of games. And so now I got hired to work on their UGS services. So it's uh, Unity Gaming services. I'm currently working on Cloud Code. Uh, we used to work on Cloud Save. It's this in-house solution to run code in the cloud where you as a game developer uh, company you can kind of write code that runs in the cloud and then from the game client that code gets called it gets you know, processed and ran in the cloud and then you get the response into your game and all that happens so yeah um i've been with that company for around three to four maybe even five months at this point so coming back circling back to the same point that difference between applied computing and computer science is pretty small i feel like when the hiring happens, they're asking you questions, they're doing coding interviews, they're doing um, all sorts of things that confirm to them that you might be the right person for the job, the right person for the role. Most of the time, cultural checks to see if you fit well in the team, how kind of, how, how do you work in a team, etc. But more often than not, like if you actually are a decent human being, um, you know what you're, what you're applying for. Um, you know what the requirements kind of are, you know what the industry is more or less heading towards, you know, the cloud, like all sorts of modern technologies nowadays, like that is, that is the stuff nowadays. So um, if it was any advice for me to learn, yeah, just look into Docker, look into Kubernetes, um, try to self host something that I, that was my experience. I've been self hosting servers for quite a while. Um, I knew a bit of the infrastructure. Golang. Golang is very important nowadays. There's a lot of vacancies for Golang developers. That's a very lucrative position and path to go. So it's it's kind of the server, high availability, high scalability, high throughput development. Nowadays, everything's moving to the cloud. So um, unless you want to go into data engineering, but I guess um, there's a distinction between applied computing, computer science, and then, you know, later stages of, you know, learning AI and machine learning, etc. Those could be a master's or PhD programs potentially, but just getting a, a basic computing degree, I guess that's how I could call it, applied computer science. It's, it's just a computing degree at the end of the day. It's something to teach you the basics, um, show you some teamwork, introduce you to maybe some agile methodologies. I will potentially make a video of the differences between learning in uni and learning on the job because there was a big big difference so stay tuned for that for example learning agile on the job um, and in uni it was a very big difference in uni we didn't really learn much etc but more on that later so tldr what's a tldr the jobs are plentiful they are yet to be filled a lot of positions available if you graduated in computing expect to start with something like a junior software engineer um, there's no shame in even taking an intern position, moving up from there, choosing companies, areas that you like. If not, just take the job that's there. It'll give you experience. Industry experience is really important. All of that is going to come literally as soon as you start the first job. The first month, two months is already a very, very good growth opportunity, growth experience, all of that stuff. So that's it for me this time. If you liked what you saw here, click the like button, press the subscribe if you are looking for more of this type of content, as I said, potentially in the future. Um, I will explain the difference on learning on the job versus learning in uni. Uh, I might do some more videos from the perspective of a recent computing graduate and the career paths following that, etc. So stay tuned for more and see you later.